Now, you may or may not know this, but Venus flytraps can count, sort of. So there's these little tiny trigger hairs in here that are hard to see with this camera. And those trigger hairs are meant to trigger whenever prey goes by them. Now, in an evolutionary attempt to keep from using energy, these hairs have to be triggered twice in a 20 second period. And what happens is there's an action potential where calcium is released. But I'm gonna go ahead and show you this. Now, it's not recommended that you do this too much because it does expend energy, but for educational purposes, I'll show you. So I'm gonna hit one, two. Oh, I hit twice. So that's something important to note. If you go across and hit one trigger hair, what happened is I hit two. You don't have to hit the same trigger hair. You can hit two, and when you do that, it will close. Now, here's something to note also. You see how it's not fully closed, it's sort of halfway? That is because this plant is not going to re uh, produce any enzymes until there's an insect inside there wiggling around more. Now, if there was an insect in there wiggling around more, that would get tighter and tighter and tighter, and it would start to produce enzymes once it had a good seal. This is another evolutionary way to protect the plant from using energy. Let's say if it was raining or somebody came along with a blade of grass, like I just did, and did that, the plant doesn't want to expend any energy, so it will open up here in a little bit and be ready to go for real prey. Now, we can only do this about two to three times, so it's important that you don't mess around with them too much unless you just want to show it off here and there.